Hi, my name is Christopher Cao, and today I will present my engineering senior thesis, which is about near future post estimation of an F 110th autonomous car using April tags. When you first open the launch file, you'll notice that an RViz window opens up in Rust and it starts playing a bag file. It takes a few seconds for all the transforms to load up correctly. April tag takes a few seconds to load up as well. Hence, I pause it initially so that the particle filter, which localizes the car that the camera's mounted on, doesn't get messed up. But you'll notice here on the left side that there are two images. The one on top is the raw image at 640 by 480 resolution straight out of the USB camera. This is playing from a bag file, so it's not live, but it's recorded. And the bag file on the bottom, that image contains April tag information overlaid. Now looking at the main window in RViz with all the different colors, red, yellow, and blue, these are different sets of waypoints. So the waypoints in red represent where my algorithm predicts that the car will be in the future. And this is calculated by summing up over the entire loop. So I already ran this bag file in the past by calculating all the predictions at every single step in time and just plotting them all together. And the blue is also a set of waypoints, but this is where the car actually went, the car in front, that is. Uh, here we have two cars, so the car in front with April tag. Uh, that's a prediction of where it will be. And so what does it mean to be actual prediction? Well, we're basically relying on two sets of estimates. First, we try and localize where our own car is. So where's our own car? Uh, that's using particle filter by using laser scan data matching up to this existing map, which I created. And then after that, applying the transform that April tag presents from the USB camera to the car in front. So two sets of uh, transforms. So as the cars go around, we want we ideally the red and blue would entirely overlap, meaning that the predicted estimates for where the car is going to be in the future, near future, like a second in the future, is going to be exactly where the car goes. As you see in close-up shots, this is not always the case, particularly on turns. Notice that on turns, as the car enters a turn, generally it starts predicting that the car will turn already. And uh, so in this case, where the car is making a left, you'll notice that the uh eventually makes up a really late turn and all along the way tried predicting left. So that's inaccurate here. When you look at straightaways, uh, straightaways seem to be somewhat accurate, uh, generally even with slight oscillations back and forth around the yellow set of waypoints, which is just like representation of kind of the center line. Uh, those seem to be somewhat accurate. Uh, it's really the turns that are unpredictable. Thank you for watching. The code and accompanying paper and GitHub README documentation are available in the description below.